Welcome back to Subsistence Hardcore. Uh, so, uh, we're, it's another day. And we've got lots of stuff to do, but I should start by just kind of telling you guys uh, I injured my shoulder, and it is hurting like hell. So, I don't know how we're going to do in this video. I'm really hoping that my my attention stays focused on the game, although, man, it's... It's kind of hurting, and it's a, it's tough. But um, look, I was gonna go for that chicken. There's a chicken walking away from us, and I'd like to get it. But uh, look, we've got, we're totally full. Our food's good. We've got a f uh, salmon that I haven't even filleted yet. I just caught it a little while ago. But I'm thinking, what the hell? Maybe we should go for this chicken. Why not? Right? It's, it's there. It doesn't see us yet. Uh, or maybe it did see me. Okay, well, I think it saw me, and so... Let's go. Okay. Man, I'm playing too many different video games all at once, and <laughs> trying to get used to which keys to press as I switch between games is... And then, with my brain being half-focused on my shoulder and half-focused on the game right now, this could a recipe for disaster, but we will see how it goes. Oh! Oh! I didn't even mention it. Did you notice? I extended our little pier. Just, it's good. Uh, I'm getting closer and closer. I'm just, I got no nails. I need more nails, and it's going to take, I think, two more will be sufficient to get us to the beach, but that's, uh, what, like 24 nails, or 20 nails or something. It's going to be... I need more nails. So, we're just going to run around here. We're going to have to go out and... Uh, well, I'll, I'll fillet out this fish. I saw a wolf around here a little while ago. But I'll fillet out this fish here relatively soon. I just caught it not, not long before sunup. And so, it shouldn't be... Oh, God. Where is it? Is it chasing me? That sounded super close. I don't... I don't hear it behind me, though. I, I would have heard it by now, right? Well, I'm gonna pull out my shotgun. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Not, not a good sign to right off start hearing the wolves like sounding as though they're right on my butt. But it didn't it didn't seem to chase us. I'm not gonna worry about the small game animals at the moment. I don't really need to use up my arrows at the moment. I might regret that later if I like burn the fish or something. Or I let it go bad. You know what? Let's just fillet it. I know I'll be cooking it here pretty soon. No reason to carry it around like that any longer. Right. I'm also going to need wood. Because obviously I'm making, making a lot of planks and stuff. But uh, it's mainly I need firewood right now. Because I've converted virtually everything into planks. I do have a, a better stockpile of planks than I do of uh, nails, but um, it's not saying much, frankly, because I just don't have any nails. When I say I don't have any, I mean I have like uh, 12 or something. But I don't use up every last nail because you never know when you're going to need to make a few arrows or something, right? So. Either way, we're just going to go around and look for stuff today and hope that I don't get eaten. Oh god, there's a freaking bear right on the other side of that tree. I did not notice him. And then where's the wolf? The girl, okay, it's over there. I see it now. I see it now. Right, man, if I could just find a, a few more nails, I really want to finish this little dock. I can 
jump onto it from there and make it out here. Now, I have a question. I don't know if, like, if I had a wolf chasing me and I jumped up onto this dock like this, would the wolf recognize that I'm standing on a platform? Because it's underwater, and it might not recognize that... It might just think I'm swimming or something. I, I don't know. It's a question. It is an open question for us, so... Let's, uh, let's do this. I'm going to cook one of these right now. Refill this. So I'll take that out of there, and then we'll do a little bit of inventory stuff. So, oh, I have nine nails. We're getting enough, you know, we got a couple extra shotgun shells and stuff, so we're getting a little bit of stockpile of the ammo and the stuff to make more ammo. Uh, well, that's nice, you know. It's very nice. Might as well drink the water. Point not doing it, we're right here. We'll take that one. And then, how close are we? I can't really tell. Let's face like this. Oh, I could eat one of these now. Wow, I can't believe I got that hungry that quickly. Time must be flying by or something. Alright, well, I can't... Uh, there's, I want that fiber over there, but... Uh, I, I don't want to let this fish burn. I could, we could take a quick look for some kelp. I just won't stay in here very long. Let's just grab this one. Come right back. Because I know this fish, it does not take long for it to burn. Alright. Well, so far so good. I mean, I don't want to get too optimistic about our prospects for today, but, uh, you know, I, I'm not dead yet. Let's, you know what, let's just go this direction. I'm almost positive. I would, I would bet that there's going to be a bear over in that direction. But, uh, we're going to, we're going to go in that direction anyway. Because I would bet that there's probably a loot crate over there too. And maybe we'll get lucky and find the loot crate before the bear finds us. Man, the shoulder. Shoulder is bugging. It's my, um, and it's my keyboard arm. I wish it, like, I'm right-handed, and yet I wish it was my right hand, my right shoulder, that was injured. Good shot. Thank you. Um, it, just because, like, it would still, it would probably be worse, you know, having the mouse arm throbbing than the keyboard arm, but, uh, I already dislocated my right shoulder a few years ago, and it, it's already, uh, you know, it causes me chronic pain, um, here and there, you know, I don't have full mobility and everything, it was never that, I should have had surgery on it, but I never did, and it's, at this point, I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But, um... It's not a constant pain, but every now and then I move it beyond... It's okay, okay. Okay, alright, chill out, Wolf. We're, we're leaving your territory right now. But yeah, you know, you know when you, you have, like, a joint injury, uh, as you age, as time passes it like what what you shrugged off in your youth uh comes back to haunt you <laughs> as you age and i was always very athletic and taking lots of risks and doing 
you know, getting getting injured and, and things like that. But I bounce back super fast. Uh, but you know, time changes things. So now I've got two bad shoulders. <laughs> That's that doesn't seem fair. Would have rather just injured the the injured shoulder and leave it at that. And then, wow! But look, despite this, I'm I'm getting the freaking chickens. Huh, I just got two chickens. That's that's kind of surprised me. I I don't think I'd do so well on the bunnies. I, for some reason, I've got maybe it's just a mental block or something. Now I've convinced myself that bunnies are too hard to hit and and I don't hit them. But you know, frankly, they do run sooner. You can correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Do you notice those of you that play? Have you noticed a difference? Are the bunnies more skittish? Do they run sooner? I know they run longer, and they sure seem to run faster. But do they run sooner? I think they do. It seems that way to me. All right, damn, I no freaking loot crates though. We're finding stuff. God, I just, more than anything, I need the nails, you know? Uh, that's I'm hamstrung without them. Okay, that wolf just I don't like it. But we're gonna be doing great on the food front. That's for sure. I'm really, really pleased with that. Finally learning how to aim properly in this mode and at that distance from the uh, the game animals that that was it changed everything that just fully changed the whole dynamic of the game and my attitude towards playing in this mode because I really thought that I would be relegated to just fishing all freaking night every night and never bothering with trying to get bunnies or chickens because like you know let's face it if you're relying on getting feathers only out of crates uh, you're not gonna have very many feathers <laughs> okay so uh, yeah being able to shoot them that that changes a lot and the same goes with the cloth you know and if and when we get to the point where we're actually making uh, the clothing items, uh, I'll need lots and lots of cloth. So, there's a wolf over there. So, yeah, if, if I can get better at the bunnies... Is that another chicken over there? It sure looks like a chicken. The thing is, I've got so many arrows right now. I don't need that chicken, though. Okay, you go run. I need this more than I need the chicken. Oh God, I don't need the wolf though. No, 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 no. no. Ah. Okay, is that wolf stalking? I can't tell. Man, I should get. I should just, oh, I, speaking of finding feathers in crates, there we are. Okay, didn't, I, I'm nervous about a wolf sneaking up on us from behind. Um, but, oh, I damn it, I was going to say something super important. It would have been life-altering. I mean, soul-rending. It was that important, and now I've forgotten. Guys, I am sorry that you, none of your lives out there in the world are going to be fulfilled ever after because you missed out on whatever it was. Well, good God, look! A freaking lock crate right there. <laughs> oh, man. That sucks. It, it hurts my heart. Uh, damn you. Can I... It would be so nice if I could freaking break the damn thing open. Just unlock... Ugh. 
Right. You just I you look, nails, 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 nails. Give me some freaking nails. Yeah, there's just chickens galore, but there, okay, there's this. Get that. Where are the freaking crates with nails in them though? Yeah, yeah, I see you chicken. There's a chicken there, there's a chicken over there. What, what is happening with this chicken? Why isn't it running from me? Why are you just sitting there? That was very weird. Am I in hardcore mode? I'm in hardcore mode. I know what my freaking base looks like in hardcore mode. Oh, God. Where's the wolf? I don't know. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. It's just, I, I, I am in hardcore mode. I know I'm in hardcore mode. My, my base. My base in my other playthrough is freaking huge. Good lord. That wolf. Alright, well, did I feed the fire last time we were out? I think I did. Either way, let's go back out there. Oh, there's a crate across the, the way. I don't think it's a... Uh, I think it's one of the... Yeah, it doesn't look like a building crate, but... Alright, let's, let's see. How are we doing here? Okay, let's eat this. Let's eat one of those. I'm going to go ahead and butcher these. But I'm not going to cook them yet. Got three freaking chicken. This one's still alive, so that's good. Uh, we'll kick uh, let's eat another one of those, and we'll drink this and refill that. And then we'll fuel the fire, and we'll head over here. And hope. I don't see. I don't see any bad things. So, all right. Just nails. Give me some freaking nails. This is crazy. Good night, man. All the small game animals. That chicken, though, right? I mean, you guys saw that. I was right up on it. I don't know why it didn't run. That was the weirdest thing. I've never gotten that close, even in normal mode. I don't know. It's... It's a brain damaged chicken or something. I mean, it's still alive in my inventory. Maybe we should interrogate it and find out what's what its deal is. It was caught in a trap or like I don't know. But I've often said like I understand why some um, vegetarians say yeah they don't eat meat except for the you know occasionally they eat chicken. Well, because I, you know chickens are kind of vegetable-y. If you if you think about it, I mean, look at their feet. They look like roots. Anyway, so you know, yeah, I, I can I can see where they're coming from. All right, let's just get some wood, relax about the nail situation, and they will they will come to us. I just I'm dismayed, honestly by the lack of building crates. Just seems bizarre to me. That, I mean, we went out quite a ways. I, I looked at several different areas. Right? We went up through here. We went over there. We went uh, over there. I found, it's like maybe the chickens have replaced all the building crates. I just saw another freaking chicken run across our path. Man, I wish I had a refrigerator. Then I'd just shoot all these chickens and bunnies that are taunting me here. And we could just, we just cook them up and put them in the fridge. Yeah, the refrigerator is great in the game here, but, like, it, I don't know if I'll ever get to that point with this playthrough, but, um, one thing about it, guys, if you're playing this game and you've never made a refrigerator, it's really good. I mean, you can store the meat indefinitely. 
But whether it's raw or cooked, I don't know if you can put like a chicken, a whole chicken or something in there, but you know, you just butcher the stuff up and, and whether you choose to cook it first or just throw it in raw, it will literally last forever in there. I've never had them go bad, except if you let your generator turn off. Or, I mean, if you let your power, I should say, your power goes to zero, then the refrigerator automatically turns off and doesn't turn itself back on when the power comes back on. So you've got to always be very, very careful about that. Don't, don't, first of all, don't let your power go down. If, you're, if your power is getting low, you run your freaking generator until you get your power back up to keep that refrigerator running. Um... And if you're running a deficit all the time, you better be always getting stuff to make biofuel because you're going to want to keep that generator running 24-7, you know, if, you're, if your power output exceeds your, uh, you, just the standard generation from things like uh, your BCU and solar panels. Uh, but that all being said, uh, it can happen, you know, you make something expensive or whatever and you happen to be do refining ore at the time and and then you just you don't realize and it's happened to me and i've had everything like i had a whole refrigerator filled with all kinds of like steaks and liver and you know premium chicken breasts and premium like because i was growing uh i had a farm kind of deal going and yeah so i had all of the Okay, let me step back a little bit. Because when I mention the premium breasts and bunnies and stuff, you may not know unless you've done it. If you... Okay, there's a wolf over there. We're not going to go over there towards that wolf. If you do get an animal pen and you start putting animals in there and you, you upgrade the pen so that they can free range, they will over time level up to level 10. Now when they level up like that uh, then like once they hit level 10 you just grab them out of there and butcher them up right and um, when you do you'll get premium feathers and premium meats and uh, and a lot of like a, a level 10 chicken gives you six fat it's phenomenal so you can render that down to make biofuel you'll end up with just tons of biofuel from the chickens alone as long as you keep putting chickens into the coop and uh, and then harvesting them when they hit their max level and just const constantly be replaced oh god there's a wolf over there just constantly be replacing them in the coop like that you know with with new ones um, but it's brilliant I love it love it love it and you get premium feathers that you can use to make premium arrows that do Oh, good lord, I don't even know. The the arrows are I think are as powerful as rifle bullets. They're they're really, really powerful. They're very, very good arrows. And you, what's your deal? Yeah? Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, see, that's a trick. You just stand on the platform and if it's there looking at you, you just hop up in the air, it'll start coming at you, and then it runs away. And then there's another one over there, and that one's not gonna run away. It's gonna run towards me. So we're gonna go out here. But, okay, so I was talking about the premium meat and, and all that stuff, uh, but the whole point, why I, why, I, why I deviated onto that tangent, it wasn't random, it was to illustrate that when I let my ref, uh, power go down and my refrigerator turned off, I lost stacks and stacks and stacks of that premium meat. And that it's really good too. It gives you a lot of protein and veginess and stuff. It's just so good. And to lose, and that that was probably I don't know, three or four weeks of gameplay uh, accrual of the various different um, you know animal meats and, and whatnot. That all just spoiled. Just, it just all went bad. It was it was a little sad. But it was a lesson learned. So don't don't do that if you're playing. Don't let your power go out if you have a fridge. So that's that's my advice. Man, that was a really long roundabout route to get to tell you to don't let your power go out. <laughs> Sorry about that, but you know, 
it's it's my method I use ten words to express what can be done to so all right well we got 16 nails you know what I want that freaking platform right right now I want it now so we're gonna make it right now do, oh God, if I do two, we're out of nails completely. Well, we'll have one nail left. I'm not going to do that. Get one more of these, though. That's something. We're making headways, at least, right? Oh, God. Did I leave that other breast in there? No, I ate it, right? I ate it. Okay, good. All right. So, well, I'll carry this other one around for a little bit longer. And then I think what we're going to do, too, is make a couple more wooden planks. Maybe three, four keep 30 wood to feed the fire and do all that good stuff and then we'll do a little bit of cordage how's our water we might as well drink it I moved the fire down just slightly so that I don't get out of the water when I access it that way I can easily re oh look is that a crate over there is there any animals I don't know let's look let's grab that real quick but First, let's do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's put that there. That place, that is good. I'm very happy. Let's put our gun back. And then before the sun goes down, one over here. There's two crates. Light is starting to fade here, and I'm getting nervous about being out like this. But man, we got some more nails. That is good. That is really good. Right on. Well, you know, slowly but surely, we're getting this whole thing built out. We're going to get that. I'm going to put up, you know, walls and doorways and stuff. I don't know. You know, I need... I think I'm going to pull up this stairway and put it here or something to, to make platform up here that I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet maybe I should build ceilings to get it so that I can get something to snap properly and then I don't know I don't know we got we need nails that's the thing but I think we have successfully made it through another day my shoulder I've kind of forgot about the pain for a little while so in a way, you guys are to thank for that. So thank you so much for joining us and making me feel a little bit better. And I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please smash that like button. Leave me any comments, tips, tricks. Tell me to get better. Don't wish me death. And uh, I will talk with all of you again very, very soon.